you know, we're going to try our best here. We're just, you know, a community that just tries our best and does what we can. There's a literal blizzard outside, guys. It's like five feet of snow, like right in front of me. So if you hear any like crazy wind blowing or anything like that, that is what it is. It's the literal blizzard that's going on. Hello, fellow boss babes. It's Madison Hardish back in my blue kitchen for another anti-MLM video. Woo! Today, I'm going to dive a little bit deeper into Beachbody. I know that a lot of people have been requesting Beachbody and wanting me to take a look at it. I've been wanting to take a look at it myself. I'm gonna mention at the beginning of the video, all the resources for all of my research is always included in the description down below. So if you have any questions or wondering where I got research from, I include all of those links down below. If you love anti-MLM comment, con what? If you love anti-MLM content, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment down below. And yeah, that's about it, right? I don't know. That's what YouTubers are supposed to say. Well, let's get into the video. I should probably say what Beachbody is before I go into all the different stories. Oh my gosh, new YouTuber here. So Beachbody is a multi-level marketing company that gets most of its income and revenue through fitness, coaching content and classes, as well as Shakeology, which is a shake that they sell. I've heard a lot of mixed results on the programs and the shakes. A lot of people are like, I lost so much weight off of this program and shake and it's made the world of a difference for me. And some people are like, it's not that great. The shake tastes terrible. I'm kind of one of those people. I've tried it before and it is not good. You know, the program is just kind of generic and not worth any money that's being spent in this company. So there's a lot of mixed reviews on Beachbody itself, but Overall, it's an MLM that's really focused on weight loss and health and fitness. I honestly think it's kind of one of the blander MLMs in my opinion, just in terms of the company itself. A lot of the marketing they do, it's just kind of like, and their, their branding and all that just kind of feels plain to me, like almost purposefully plain, like almost like they wanna skate under the radar and like draw the least bit of attention to them, so. That's what it kind of feels like to me, if I'm being honest. I almost feel like the company culture, what they represent can sometimes be completely different from what MLM representatives of that company represent, if that makes sense. For example, I feel like with Beachbody, like the company itself reads very bland to me. It just tries to be like a very cut and dry fitness company, but the representatives are crazy. I say in trying to be the nicest way possible, but they're a little crazy. Now I'm gonna go into a little bit of stories about previous Beachbody coaches. So all of the stories that I'm gonna be sharing, I'll be crediting up on the screen as well as linking down below the full story so you can really read it if you'd like to dive deeper into each story. The first story is by, and I'm reading off my computer, so I'm gonna be looking down. The first story is by Iron Wild Fitness, which is a blog. I'm gonna just kind of grab bits and pieces from this one because it's a little bit of a longer story. But she said, I honestly think I was just desperate and fell prey to all of the promises of Beachbody income. I knew that most coaches never really ended up making a lot of money since Team Beachbody publicly posts earnings. But I thought that since I had the blog platform and an audience of over 20,000 followers and subscribers, I might have a chance to make decent money. You can probably guess whether or not I did. I want to give you some context so that you understand just how much I put into this. I got started with Team Beachbody just after, after Thanksgiving. Why is that so hard for me to say? 2018 and was done right before Christmas. I'd hoped that the timing would help me build quickly since people were doing Christmas gifts and New Year's resolutions. That didn't end up being the case. So don't assume that you can make money quickly, which is good for all things. If someone's claiming that you can make money quickly doing something, you probably won't and you're probably being scammed. As soon as I started with team, as, oh my gosh, slow down, Madison, slow down. As soon as I started with Team Beachbody, I jumped into training, writing, and looking for leads. I was seriously beach body brainwashed. I took what was supposed to be a 30 day training in less than a week. 
I delved into webinars and podcasts, blogs, and spreadsheets. I spent probably a few hours every day working on making connections and developing resources. I invited a million and one people to my challenge groups and even had 40 express interest and a few joined. The point is that I spent a lot of time working on the biz. And guess what? Three weeks and tons of hours later, I had not one sale. And that's just absolutely insane if you think about it. She basically in this blog post debunks all of what the MLM humbots will say if you say that you failed at the MLM, which is like, you didn't put enough time into it. You didn't invite enough people. You didn't reach out enough. And you hear that and it's like she spent so many hours working on this. She studied it. She knew all about it. And then she had a big following that you know could have easily converted if they were interested. And yet nobody signed up. No one joined her team. She didn't make a single sale. And that just shows how unrealistic all these goals of being like a successful MLM distributor really are. I almost think it's purposefully made to look easy. Like, oh, just get four people working under you. Just make 10 sales a day. As if it's all super easy and simple when it's really not. It's extremely hard. And a lot of people like me and a lot of listeners here really don't like MLMs. So for distributors, it's probably very impossible to get anywhere and climb up the ladder in any way in a multi-level marketing company. And I think it's so manipulative and demeaning to kind of fail at something and then to have the people that recruited you be like, well, you didn't try hard enough. Well, you're not doing this right. As if it's like a personal failure instead of maybe a failure on the business itself and the business structure itself, you know? I don't know. This is an anti-MLM Reddit post posted by general underscore discourse. And it says, former Beachbody coach here. Let's do a little ask me anything. But I'm mainly just gonna be reading her story because I think it's really interesting. I'm a former Beachbody coach. I did it from February, 2016 to May, 2017. I got my start with the best intentions. I joined a Facebook friends challenge group in January, 2016, desperate to lose weight. Thanks mostly to my own dedication to the program, which is, you know, good for her for recognizing that. It's not the program, it's your dedication to a program. And honestly, coming from a personal trainer background, I've seen so many people make results off of many, many different programs that my personal opinion is it's not the program itself, but the dedication and work that you put in and how willing you are to stick to something as long as it's, you know, scientifically proven to work, which is, you know, eating a little bit less calories than the amount you burn and physically exerting yourself in some way, you know, and that's really all it is when it comes down to it. Although I personally never had my clients focus too much on the amount of calories they were eating, but rather the quality that they were eating. So anyways, rant over. If you make success on a specific program, it's not thanks to that program, it's thanks to your dedication of working on that program. I lost almost 20 pounds during that first 21 days. Over the course of my tenure, I lost almost 100 pounds. Tenure? Was that the right word? So these programs do work. The business practices just suck. I started out never intending to continue my Shakeology auto ship beyond the first 30 days. Then my coach messages me, I'm doing amazing and such an inspiration and I should totally join her team as a coach, even if it's just to get a discount on Shakeology. <laughs> you, you got the gist, I just can't speak. <laughs> and that's it, I was hooked. I was a lonely, overweight SAHM with two kids under three, one of which is special needs. The Beachology community was my only comfort at the time and they exploited that. And that's what's so sad. I literally want to call this scenario the Regina effect. Top distributors, it feels like their sole job is to very subtly make other people feel bad about themselves so that they join the team in hopings of improving themselves. And then once the person joins, the Regina character, the upline, makes them feel so loved, you're doing amazing, you're excelling so much. So it makes them feel like they're a part of something, they're being valued, they're part of a community that appreciates them. So they feel kind of obligated to stay. And that's just like basically overall the biggest flaw with these healthy living MLMs. Pretty quickly, I was signing people up, posting three to four times a day, 
attending meetings or trainings through Zoom almost daily. My hubby started to get annoyed, but he held his tongue because I was losing so much weight and I was so happy. Beachbody had become my entire life. Yes, I made a little money, but not near enough to cover my expenses. I was encouraged to open coach accounts in my husband's, mom's, and sister's names to achieve a rank advancement. That's four accounts on two different credit cards, each with its own auto ship to stay active. Basically, I was paying almost $400 a month to stay diamond. Also, my own coach could keep her rank. Yeah, that's insane. And that's the thing that I got the most frustrated about in my whole beach body studying escapade. Do you ever have random words pop into your head and you're like, where, how do I know that word? And it just randomly, I don't even know if I used it correctly, but in my beach body studying escapade, I kept noticing that beach body coaches encourage their new downline to sign up their very immediate close family members and people that just, you know, don't really care, but they sign up and like create a fake account for these people, like a fake coach account so that they can have a certain rank or status. It's just so silly that they're teaching people to do that when that's unsustainable and you're bound to fail because you can't pay $400 a month and justify that. That's a car payment for a lot of people. There's so many better things to spend it on and it's not going to lead down the line to more and more people. You can't fake sign up more and more people and then make money from that. It's, you know, it, that's not how life works. So here's another one, recovered beach body coach. Hi everyone, I decided to discuss my Beachbody coaching experience. It's been about four years, but I figured I would share my story for any other recovering MLM folks. I used Beachbody's workout programs on and off since 2010. I had back surgery at 19 years old and needed something that would be fun and wouldn't flare up my pain. At the end of 2013, I had a good friend join them and I wanted to use my weight loss results to help people, so I ended up being part of her downline. I was a coach for three months and only received two total sales. And that really brings out an important point of MLMs and your mental health. Because imagine entering a business and having that person say, you're gonna be so successful, you're gonna make so much money. Everyone in here makes so much money. Everyone in here is so successful. Look at us, look at our success. This is gonna be you too. And you're so excited, you genuinely feel like that's what's gonna happen. And then you continually fail over and over again for the next multiple months. Imagine that. It's easy to see how people might internalize that and think I'm failing, I'm doing bad, I'm not able to be successful, it's me. And then when they go to leave the company, they have their upline saying, you didn't work hard enough, you didn't do this well enough, you didn't do that. It's easy to internalize that and think, wow, I really am terrible at this. I'm really like not doing a good job. I failed, I'm a failure. When in fact, it's the MLM company itself that's designed for you to fail. And that's, I think, the saddest part to me of MLMs in general, besides, of course, selling magical beads. <laughs> Those are kind of the stories I wanted to share today. I'll include even more stories in the description because there's a lot of stories, but they just kind of get repetitive after a while. It's a few major themes of, I was barely making any sales if I made any. <clears throat> My upline kind of pressured me into continually reaching out to people, even though I felt uncomfortable. I felt bad about myself. I wanted to lose weight, which is why I joined. When I left, my upline made me feel guilty. Like I feel like those are kind of the main points of a lot of these stories. I wanted to share some of my absolute favorite Instagram posts from the Instagram anti-beachbody coach. It's such a good Instagram and please, please check it out if you're interested in Beachbody. They do so much research on everything and I could never be that involved to be able to present that level of research and insight into the company. So thank you Anti-Beachbody Coach for these posts. Um, and yeah, guys, check them out. Like a lot of this stuff I'm sharing with you is literally the training material that Beachbody coaches give to one another for getting more clients. You'll see just how like messed up and wrong a lot of this stuff is. It says, you will use your spouse's business center to help you advance in rank, which in turn will help you generate more income. You will sign up your spouses as one of your first coaches, which will make you Emerald and eligible for team cycle bonus. 
You will make your spouse an emerald coach, which will help you get to diamond, which makes you eligible for matching bonus. You will make your spouse a diamond, which will help you achieve two-star diamond, which makes you eligible for quarterly bonuses. So that's kind of a lot. There's a lot of levels in there that I really don't care about. But um, basically what this person is trying to say with this like training material is to continually like create these fake profiles, these fake coach profiles so that you can advance in rank, so that they can advance in rank, which is just all like illegitimate. Like talk about pyramid schemes. A lot of people say like, oh, well pyramid schemes don't have a product, we have a product, but you're creating like fake coaches and fake profiles to take advantage of the system so that you can make more money, which in turn just shows that the whole purpose of this business is to put more and more people under you, like a pyramid scheme. That's just my opinion, but I don't know, that's what it seems. Here's another training material. What you're supposed to say if someone gives you an excuse, and this excuse is, I don't have a time. And this is what they train beach body coaches to say to this. Number one, relate to the story. Oh my gosh, I felt the exact same way. When I first started, I was actually working three jobs, personal training at two different gyms and coaching gymnastics and cheerleading. But I knew I had to work, so I worked around my day at first. Watching my favorite show or sitting on the couch, I simply did it with my computer in hand or got my workout done instead. It's so funny because it just makes it seem even more disingenuine when people try and interact and sell you. The vulnerable people might be thinking these people actually care about them and are saying all these things because they have their best interest in mind, when in reality, these people are literally trained to say a certain thing with each kind of scenario in the conversation and none of it is genuine and they don't care at all about the person. I love this post. I just really wanted to include it by Antibody Beach Coach as well, which they seem to have post from the MLM boss babe and it says build your team is code for you need to recruit if you want to rank up which is code for the real money is made by recruiting which is code for you're in an effing pyramid scheme which agreed there's one more post I want to share from anti beach body coach because I just think this literally is the most insane post I've ever seen in my life like this post is just so wrong to me in my opinion and just shows how predatory these people are. I say predatory and I mean it. I mean, just read this post and you're like, holy crap, who thinks that way? Unless you're just a predator or a sociopath, like honestly. This is another uh, grab from like a beach body coach training thing. And this is how the post reads. Have your team create their dirt list. A dirt list is a list of people who would essentially buy dirt from you because the shakes literally taste like dirt. So of course, I, I knew it. It actually is dirt. So Beachbody Shakeology shakes are dirt and that's why you need a dirt list of people who would buy dirt from you. <laughs> but anyways, what do they say? by dirt and dirt list means, meaning they love and respect you so much they would do just about anything for you. After they create their dirt list, they should reach out to those people saying something like, I'm trying to achieve a goal by the morning for my side hustle business that I started. I just need two people who want to help me do this. I would absolutely love if you are one of those people because you mean so much to me. They're telling people to say that to people that basically care for them and love them and therefore will support them in anything they do. They're taking advantage of unconditional love some people have for others. <sighs> I plan on crushing this and when I do, having you right there with me from the beginning will be so freaking special. It just feels so wrong to me to literally tell people like, Hey, think about people that will basically support you in whatever you do, that love you unconditionally, and then take advantage of that love by saying, will you support me on this? You mean so much to me. I, it just, it genuinely kind of makes me sick. And my mind was blown when I saw that post. I was just like, what? Some of these people, man. A big problem that I personally have with Beachbody is how little that they need to do to become a Beachbody coach. 
it seems like beach body coaches are literally supposed to be like personal training or health coaching but for this MLM specifically. I just think that there's so much to know about health and wellness. I spent years and years looking into it and I still know nothing compared to a lot of experts in their field. I'm no by no means an expert in any way on any of that. It just makes me really sad that they're acting as if they're these experts in health and wellness that can help you on your health journey and that people actually go to them and take their advice instead of going to an actual doctor, nutritionist, dietitian, personal trainer, professional. It's like these people are just random people who signed up for this. And just because Jessica and Amber have great bodies and are naturally and genetically fit doesn't mean that they'll have any valuable advice to give to you or that they know anything about what they're talking about. Um, I just made up the names Jessica and Amber, but um, I'm pretty sure there's probably Beachbody coaches name with those names. A lot of Beachbody coaches emphasize before and after photos, and don't get me wrong, you should be proud of any accomplishments that you make on your health journey, but I would say be cautious of making purchasing decisions and the decision whether or not to join this company off of before and after photos because a lot of them can be doctored very easily. And on top of that, health and fitness journeys are way more than just a number on a scale or a before and after photo. I feel like a lot of people get so hyper-focused on before and after photos, progress photos, uh, weight and numbers and losing numbers when there's a bigger picture at play when you're focusing on a health journey, at least in my opinion personally. I think a big part of that picture is learning to love yourself no matter matter what weight you are, to feel comfortable in your own skin, and to have a healthy and loving relationship with your body. I mean, for example, when I was in a modeling agency, I weighed 115 pounds and I was super duper skinny. I've gained weight since then. I think I weigh like about 130 pounds at this point, and I'm way happier, way happier than I was back then, and I feel more beautiful than I was back then. Beachbody pisses me off not only for being an MLM, but for kind of subtly teaching people that they are unworthy unless they're physically fit or look a certain way. If you've been made to feel this way by an MLM rep, please know that you are worthy. You are a powerful and beautiful force that's capable of giving and receiving love no matter what stage of life you're in. And if you want to change something about yourself, that's totally your prerogative, but please don't let an MLM humbot be the cause of you wanting to change or better yourself. And thank you for coming to my TED talk. <laughs> Just kidding. But thank you guys for watching. That's pretty much all I have to say on Beach Body and the topic itself. For the time being, at least, please give some love to the Instagram anti Beach Body coach. Yeah, they're, they're awesome. <laughs> and if you like this video, subscribe and comment down below what other companies you'd like to see me do. Thank you guys for all the support. Until next time, have a good one.